My name is Scott Sreda, Director of Education for the COPD Foundation. This is lesson number four. In this lesson, we're going to discuss the spirometry test. This is the set of instructions that you will relay to the participant. The participant will be invited to come back to the testing area. They'll be asked to sit in a chair. In this testing area, you will have a spirometer. You will have spirets cleaning wipes for the machine to be used after each participant, and also hand gel to clean your hands. These cleaning wipes will be good as long as they're wet, so they will last for several, uh, between several different participants that come back through the station. Okay, so the next thing to do is to have the participants sit, and then you're going to give them a series of instructions. You're going to let them know. This is a test that measures lung function. It's going to measure how fast and how much air you can blow out of your lungs. It's important that we get three good tests. However, it may take you up to eight maneuvers to get those three good tests. It's really important to let them know that at the beginning. If you tell somebody they only need three tests, then after they do the three, they're going to be checking out and thinking they're done with the maneuver. But that's not the case. Many times if they cough or if the timing is off with the machine, that won't count as a good test, and it may take up to eight maneuvers in order to get those three good tests. These machines will also have quality assessment and little readouts that will tell you what to do after that blast if there's anything to correct. We'll discuss that in another lesson. So. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to explain the maneuver to the participant. Each of you will have your own mouthpiece, and we want you to demonstrate by them watching you do it, and then they'll understand when it's their turn to do it. So you're going to let the participant know this set of instructions. Okay, what I'm going to ask you to do is to blow all the air out of your lungs. Then you're going to take a deep breath in as deep as you can. You're going to make a nice tight seal around the mouthpiece by biting down gently and then closing your lips. And then I'm going to have you blast as fast and as hard as you can and keep going for about six seconds. I'll tell you when to stop. So the whole maneuver will look like this. Tight seal. Blast as hard as fast as they can and keep going for six seconds. You're going to watch to make sure they're upright and straight. They're not leaning forward. They have a nice tight seal, no cough, no tongue in the mouthpiece, and so forth. That's the coaching maneuver that you will give them. When it comes to the spirometer itself, what you're going to do here is you're going to insert the spirette into the machine, lining up the arrows. When you open up a spirette, it comes in a sealed package with a tear perforation. You're going to tear this off, hold on to the mouthpiece end so that you don't put your fingers on it, and then you're going to identify the arrow on the mouthpiece. You're going to insert that into the spirometer, lining up the arrows. Once this is done, then you're going to select the test forced vital capacity. You're going to press enter. The next screen is going to tell you to block the spirette until prompted to blast out. Once you select enter, you have 60 seconds to have the participant blast into the machine. If they don't do it within that time, it will time out and you'll have to reset the machine. So this is the point where you're going to have the participant hold on to the machine by their side. They're going to blow all the air out of their lungs. Take a nice deep breath in, as deep as they can. Insert, make a nice tight seal, and blast as hard and as fast as they can for six seconds. It will take a little bit of practice for you to know when the six seconds is up and then you're going to go ahead and stop the machine and take a look at what the response is on the data. So once you take a look at the data screen here, you're going to see a flow volume uh, uh, waveform. And then you're going to press enter. The machine will tell you a series of responses. This one says session quality a D. 
We only accept A's, B's, and C's. A's and B's are preferred if you have a C and you can still do more. Remember, you have up to eight maneuvers, so keep them going unless they say that they cannot do it anymore. You don't decide when they stop. Let them decide when to stop if you have the not already achieved that A or a B. So it says good effort, do the next test. Again, we need three good maneuvers. That's maneuver number one. So we're going to press enter for next. Same maneuver. You should hear the machine wind down. It'll be hard to do in a very busy and noisy event. But again, you will see the screen will come to the end. You press enter. It says good effort, do next. Now we're at a C, so those two are closely matched. However, you need at least three maneuvers, so we'll still do one more. Again, you give this back to the participant. You coach them on each maneuver. Press enter, calibrates. Have a hold it by their bed, uh, by their side. Blow the air out of their lungs. <sighs> nice deep breath in, as deep as they can. Tight seal. <gasps> okay, and then we're going to go ahead and press enter. Session quality is an A. Session complete. Good job. When you reach this screen, this is where you're going to stop the testing. If you have done several maneuvers and you don't read that, reach that A or B in session quality uh, good, you can manually stop by pressing escape and then going to the data screen to look at the results. However, if you receive a grade quality of a D or an F, we do not report that data. We don't write it down on the sheet and send them away with it. We simply let them know we are not able to get a good quality test today. Thank you for trying. If you do have questions about uh, your lung health, especially if they had a symptom score five or more, we should let them know that they need to follow up with their doctor and get a spirometry test in their office environment. All right. Once we've reached this, we're going to go to data screen and press enter. Then this series of data will be recorded on the report card sheet. We will discuss that in another lesson.